Hi there, I'm Mike Chappell, and in this Cert Mike Explains video, we're going to talk about an important security solution that helps organizations gain control over the use of cloud services by their employees and ensure that the organization is continuing to protect sensitive information wherever it resides. Now today, organizations of all kinds are rapidly expanding their use of cloud services, ranging from complete infrastructure deployments to the use of specialized cloud applications. This leaves cybersecurity teams in the difficult position of trying to track the flow of sensitive information. Now, while most security teams already have tools in place to track the presence of sensitive information within their organization's internal systems, this process becomes far more complicated when employees make use of cloud services. The issues that arise from employee use of cloud services come in two forms. First, employees may make use of cloud services without the knowledge of the IT team. An employee might discover a new service on their own, open an account, and then transfer sensitive information into that cloud account. But the danger doesn't stop there. The second risk is that even when employees make use of vetted and approved cloud services, they might configure security settings that violate the organization's security policies. For example, an employee using an approved cloud storage service might share a file with their personal email address, or even accidentally make a file available on the public web. Cloud access security brokers are technology solutions that insert themselves between the end user and a cloud service, and they inject security controls that enforce the organization's security policy. CASB solutions allow the IT team to enforce their internal requirements for access control, authentication, encryption, firewalling, malware protection, monitoring, data loss prevention, and content filtering, even when the data being protected resides in external cloud-based systems. Now, CASB solutions come in two primary forms. Before I explain those, I just want to take a moment to invite you to visit my website at certmike.com. On that site, I have free study plans put together to help you earn your next cybersecurity certification. The plans tie together the content that you'll find in study guides, video courses, and practice tests to help you prepare for your next certification exam and pass that test on the first try. Also, if you're enjoying this Cert Mike Explains video, please take a moment to click the like button below to help other people discover it. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll be among the first to see my new cybersecurity videos as they come out. Now let's talk about those two CASB deployment methods. First, they may exist as on-premise devices that sit on the network in a location where they can intercept and inspect traffic that's headed to the cloud. These solutions are effective across a wide range of cloud services, but they require that the user send traffic through the device. Second, CASBs can exist as a cloud-based solution that leverages APIs to interact directly with cloud services. These solutions can reach deeply into a cloud service and perform detailed monitoring, but they're unable to detect the use of cloud services where the organization lacks an enterprise agreement that provides them with that API access. Now, while CASBs may be quickly gaining steam, adoption may lag in organizations where technology leaders don't see the direct benefits of these solutions. Let's talk about three ways that CASBs can play an important role in an organization's security program. First, CASBs provide visibility into cloud utilization. They provide an organization's technology team with insight into how employees and other users are using the cloud. This includes detecting shadow IT services where individuals have adopted cloud services without appropriate security vetting. It can also detect the misuse of approved cloud services. CASBs provide a wealth of monitoring and enforcement capabilities that prevent employees from intentionally or unintentionally violating a security policy. For example, an organization might use a CASB to scan their cloud-based file sharing service for the presence of publicly accessible information. These scans invariably uncover files and folders containing sensitive information that an employee accidentally shared on the web. The second main benefit of CASBs is that they offer data loss prevention capabilities. Many organizations already deploy data loss prevention or DLP services on their own networks, but these systems lack visibility into the movement of data within cloud services. 
CASBs can extend an organization's DLP policies into the cloud by examining data that's placed into the cloud and then monitoring sensitive data for DLP violations. For example, if an organization prohibits the storage of social security numbers in the cloud, the CASB can be configured to enforce this rule. The CASB can scan existing content in the cloud service searching for unauthorized content and also block future attempts to move offending content into the cloud. Third, CASBs inject encryption into the cloud. Encryption is a tried and true security control for the protection of sensitive information that leaves the direct control of its owner. Security programs have long relied on encryption to reduce the sensitivity level of information that's stored in the cloud, but they also face the choice of implementing the encryption themselves or placing the encryption keys in the hands of the cloud provider. CASBs can mitigate this risk by introducing encryption before the data reaches the cloud service and handling key management tasks. For example, an organization might configure a CASB to intercept and encrypt all files heading to the cloud and then transparently decrypt data returning from the cloud. This provides the end user with a seamless experience, but it dramatically reduces the impact of a breach at the cloud provider. I hope that this video helped you understand cloud access security brokers. If it did, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more cybersecurity content.